Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 14. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Okay, so we've mostly lost the cops now. We've got uh, one star instead of three stars. Um, but we are just going down the uh, dual carriageway. The Hawaiian dual carriageways. And uh, we're going to make our way to... I don't know. Next event. We're going past the bin truck looking fire trucks. I still can't work out whether they're bin trucks or fire trucks. Or whatever they are, they're big, they're yellow. There's way more of them than normal traffic cars and they need to get out of the way. Simple. Your destination is a half a mile away. Oh, I wanted to go up that road. There was a jump there. I'm sad now. Here we go though. I see an event in front of me. It's a race. The Falls. Okay. Right, so we are here at the Falls. I am very sorry about the uh, last few clips um, where I realized I have me uh, audio a bit too loud. So I will try and fix that post editing. You'll probably hear the volume turn down big time. Um, but yeah, let's do this. We're going normal difficulty uh, for 3.2 miles. It is a straight race. One way. Let's do this. Test Drive Unlimited. Hang on. Okay, so my audio is good. Again, I think. I think it's alright. If I come back later and it's all messed up from this point onwards, I will cry. It's an alright start so far. Those uh, Volkswagen W12s though, getting a huge lead on us. And there's the Pagani Zonda, which we are definitely going to be driving at some point. I'm going to have to get that. Uh, but I'm also going to be getting the uh, Jaguar as well, because I remember driving that. The Jaguar XJ220. Manua Willy Valley. I think that's how you say that. If it's not, I'm sorry if I butchered the name. I always get really annoyed when I've messed my mic up because I know it it doesn't sound perfect it doesn't sound great and I hate I hate having to go back um, I know the start of this series was actually the uh, second time I started recording it I've been recording for about 30 minutes and I had to redo it because it was at maximum volume and I can't do that oh expert challenges unlocked decent um, club invite, we'll have a GTI, what did we just get? Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I don't like when it's too loud, so a, a lot of the time I will just re-record it, but when you're this far into a series, um, especially with, um, I mean, Gran Turismo 6, you could redo it. Um, you could just redo a race. It's not too much of a problem. You'll just say, oh yeah, we had technical difficulty, so I'm redoing the race. This, not quite as easy as that, because you can't remember what races you've done. And I want to make sure that I show that I have 100% completed the game. So every single race is going to be recorded. I'm not going to go and check back over my recording and see. We're just going to have a bit of crap audio for a bit. Your destination is 
Plus as well, I'm not a very quiet person, so when it is on max volume, I can't go like, hey guys, I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to be loud, so I have to turn it down a bit. But even then, turning it down a bit gets rid of that background buzz a little bit more. In fact, a lot. It gets rid of a lot of the background buzz, so me speaking louder but having less buzz is a better option for me. And here we go, Overlook. Next race. Red Bull. The Red Bull doesn't help either. <laughs> uh, 3.6 miles, 2 laps for 20,000 credits. Let's go. We've obviously unlocked Expert Events, which is B-Class cars. Uh, but we are going to be sticking to C-Class Events for now. For as long as possible. Oh, they got the uh, concept car in this race that we've got. Go, go, go. Oh, and the concept didn't even get off. Oh, that's brilliant. That was brilliant. Thanks, guys. The concept car didn't get off the line. We went past, and then that Ford GT knocked us into the post. The Ford GT was on the right-hand side. So he didn't need to be where I was. He was deliberately sabotaging my race. But uh, this game... By the looks of it, does appear to have AI handicap. So um, if you are behind, it will slow them down. Because there is no way a Lotus Elise is going to catch up with that car. So at least we're having fun with this game, though. It's not been stressful. I've not been like stressing out trying to win the race. I know Gran Turismo 6, even though it wasn't like super stressful. Um, there were races where I was sort of like proper tryharded, and those kind of races do cause a little bit of stress. Um, but yeah, this game's just fun. Genuinely, if I could play this when I was younger and not have much of a problem, that sort of says a lot about a game. It really does. Over the overpass there. Come on. Got some more corners. This track is very uh, corner based by the looks of it. So um, it's going to be quite a long lap time wise. Maybe two and a half minutes. Oh. I saw that uh, electrical pylon way too late for comfort. Ah, uh, not great. Go back into his slipstream. That is how you slipstream. And over the corner. Perfect. I feel like after these few races, um, we're going to go clubs big time. So we're just going to go club after club after club. And just see how many clubs we can do today. Go crazy. Go stupid. Um, again, aiming to do every single club and every single race. Um, so that's going to be fun. I sounded really unenthusiastic then. Like, oh, that's going to be fun. No, it genuinely is going to be fun. Genuinely. There are not many games that have put a smile on my face as big as this game has. Oh, no. Woo! That was close. like some proper when it comes to the new game I would really love to see like culture based music so a lot of people saying oh they're gonna have a place in Brazil right if they do do a place in Brazil for the new test drive they need to have like Brazilian music but obviously driving games mostly have electronics so that would be like Brazilian hard style or whatever it is 
they need to have sort of music based around the culture and that. Um, but they also need a lot of like good music as well. I love to see a wide variety of genres and different types of music. Because uh, more choice of music, better a game always is. Because you can make it your game, how you like it. And there we go, across the finish side. Four minutes, 28.59. And that, <laughs> the uh, Shelby Cobra concept just uh, yeet. There we go, 20,000 credits. 5,000 master points. Thank you very much. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Where's our next location? It's probably going to be like 20 miles. Oh no, only one. Lucky me. Here we go. The uh, traffic cars in this game are a little bit of a nightmare. There is quite a large quantity for a PS2 open world game. Your destination is a half a mile away. Beep. No, are you not going? There we go. Uh, I intentionally wanted to do a donut on the grass just to um, prove that this car's fun. <laughs> Here we go, mountain ride. This sounds good. I'm hoping this is like a really twisty, windy race. 2.5 miles for 1 minute and 44 seconds. That sounds alright. Here we go. Manuaili. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> Haiku Valley. Oh, that wasn't great. Had a little bit of a knock, um, but let's see. Can we get that speed and distance back? Of course we can. I think we drove on this in the last race, didn't we? Down this road. Oh, it was a sick drift. And I would have counted that other drift as a drift as well, but uh, the game thinks differently. I wonder, can I get a sick drift around here? Nope. Nope. No drifts. Go, 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 go. Come on. Nice. I love drifting in this game. There's some something that's just more satisfying than drifting in any other game. Um, but we do have a bit of a problem. We're a bit behind on time, I think. Careful, careful. Oh, there's the finish. There we go. Oh, yeah, we did basically just go completely backwards on that race. Uh, 1 minute 44. We destroyed that. And we're up to 600,000 credits. So we have plenty for our A-class car now. Uh, 3.6 miles to our next race. I think we'll say this is the final race for us today. And then we'll do uh, clubs. We'll move on to clubs. Right. No. No, cops, go away. I've now got the cops on me. Great. Right, uh, heading to, I don't know what this race is. If it's a race or a time trial. Probably should have checked that before. Uh, it is a race. You have reached your destination. So that's ideal. Uh, Kailu Heights. I think that's how you say that. Yeah, Kailua. And this is an expert difficulty. Three miles, three laps. So we've got a lot more money available for this. Right, let's do this. So we have a Ascari. I think that's an A10, maybe. Um, that is a B-class car. The Cobra in front is a B-class. And... A Ford GT, which is one, a very nice car, 
uh, actually one of the cover cards for this game. But it also is a A class. So we're like one to two classes below all the cards. Oh, we are doing really well. Ah! Okay, careful. No. Nope. <laughs> I jinxed that big time. So we're going to have to watch out for that first corner. Because that's quite a uh, sudden tight corner. We got three laps of that too, so. You're joking me. How how does a Ford do that? It's like bang! Destroyed. Total destruction. Awesome. Oh no, never mind. Whenever I say that, it's always a crash immediately afterwards. Crash or I spin out or lose control. All right, coming on to lap number two. Our first lap took one minute 53, or 1.3 seconds behind. Right, where is this corner that catch catches us out every time? I'm loving this. This game is such a blast to play. Nope, not ideal. Get back on the track. Nice. Okay, try not to spin out. I'm gonna say, nice. Hey, we broke the cycle. That's a good song, actually. You should listen to it. Motionless in white. Very good. We're gonna need another like 500,000 points before we can get up to like the professional level. Obviously this is expert, what is the final level? Unbeatable or something like that, I don't know. Master. Oh yeah, it might be master difficulty actually. And that's not ideal. We'll go that way around. I was trying to reverse and it wouldn't reverse, so uh, we're we'll going forwards. Surprisingly, though, that Shelby is much, much faster than the Ford GT. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, this is not good.
I think we've ruined it. Right at the last minute. Unbelievable. Uh, those electrical poles do are the worst. 522.474. We'll probably end up coming back to this anyways. Right, let's see. If the next race is more than two Your miles away, being recalculated. we're going to go to clubs. 0 0.9 miles away, okay. We're going for another race then. We're going to keep doing that as well. As soon as it's uh, more than two miles, we're going to clubs. That seems pretty fair. Ah, uh, move out of the way. Because uh, while we're on a streak of close races, we might as well keep going with it, if that makes sense. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not crash into the cop cars. Oh, and they're still after us anyways. That was pointless. Might as well have crashed into the back of him. Right, so it's a pro difficulty, uh, 1.9 miles, three laps. Let's do it. I love the circuit races because you can constantly, like, improve on them. Um, the straight line ones, they're sort of like, you have to nail it first time. Um, whereas the circuits, you can sort of, like, get better and better. Uh, we are against an Ascari, a W12 concept, and Pagani Zonda. It's a very nice car. I do like this on that. The uh, quad exhaust at the back, the, the brown quad exhaust, is such a nice design point for the Zonda. And the Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> that was a hiccup. <laughs> and the Hawaii's got um, the same exhaust as well. Jeez, that hurt. <laughs> I was talking and I hiccuped. Turn go, 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 go. Come on. Oh no, we've gone straight into the back of the Zonda. Turn that isn't what I was... Ooh. That isn't what I was intending on doing. Well, that's what I say anyways. <laughs> oh, we're already on lap number two. Oh. There we go. Zoom in past the Zonda. At the next intersection, turn left. Oh, I missed it. You are driving in the wrong direction. Go, 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 quick. Turn right. Right, we have catching up to do now. Probably not enough distance to do it either. I literally looked at the minimap and saw that that corner was actually closer than I expected. 4.4 seconds behind first. That was a very good save. Nearly completely messed that up. But uh, it is all right for now. Turn left. Second to the last corner. No, wait, that's the final corner. Well, one more lap. One mistake and it's all over for us. Like, I think it's already all over, but... We are catching up with the Zonda. That was a lot of speed that we caught up. 0 0.9 seconds now. The Zonda obviously cannot take corners very fast and we messed it up. Told you we'd ruin it. Whoever designed this track really hated people in general. That was a good corner cut, but not enough to get back to the Zonda. Ah, another second place finish. 
Unreal. Oh well. These races do get more difficult, so uh, you kind of have to expect that. 11,000 credits. Would have been nice for 22,000, but... Oh, and 0 0.6 miles, so we got another race straight away. Stay back. I feel like maybe it's Aston time soon. Get the Aston Martin back out. No, no, we've driven that too much. It's speed trap anyways. So uh, we'll do this as our final event for now. Here we go. Let's go. Speed is key. It's a D-class anyway, so uh, it is time for the Skyline, I think, is our quickest. Yes. Let's go. Please wait. Load in. Very nice. And we are... Go. Perfect. Okay. So you need to watch out for going off road because we will get ourselves off road penalties. Are we going to pick up any, any more speed, please? Nice. 133 miles an hour for that one. I don't know where the camera is. There it is. 118. So that is decent. Keep the speed up and we should be able to hit this easy. No problem. And there we go. Gold. Beat it by over 12 miles an hour. 12.88. 12 12.88. Yeah, my maths is right. That is a huge amount of speed there. Right, so we are here at the Clubman Car Cup. Uh, Clubman Car Club. Not cup, club. And uh, first of all, we're going against a Lotus Elise 111R. Uh, we are obviously going to be driving our Exige for now. Uh, because it is all about small racing cars. Small sporty cars. Um, so, that includes the Lotus. Because it's quite a small, sporty car. So here we go. We've got the Lotus Elise there. We're going to destroy the first two. Because they're Elise and that but yeah go 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 come on this is very good so far um, we get an off-road penalty. No. Nope. Not going to make too much of a difference as long as we don't go off-road again. Uh, but this car is very prone to going um, too fast. Or not slowing down quick enough. So, guaranteed to go off-road again. There we go. Nice. Uh, I see the next corner. Oh, that was nice. Squeezing ourselves between two lorries going opposite directions. Nice. That's very good. I love the car club stuff. It's just amazing. No, 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 no. Uh, we'll do it. Go. I forgot, um, I didn't see the junction that we had to come off, but uh, quick judgment said that I could do it without losing too much of my penalty. Otherwise, if there wasn't enough, we would have had to have done a U-turn, and that would have lost us the race, so we're alright for now. We're okay. Come on, let's go. Very good. You can tell in my voice that I'm enjoying this game. You can tell in games like, um, fuck off. <laughs> you can tell, um, like Gran Turismo 6, I had a lot of fun. Um, I haven't stopped talking about it, how much fun I had on that game. It's ridiculous. 
But uh, there are games out there that make me just smile, and this is one of them. It's just fun. But there we go. Tom Glynn just got destroyed. Two minutes and 19 seconds. That is awesome. We're already 10% of the way towards uh, a million uh, from 500,000. Or a million and leveling up. I'm pretty sure it's a million to level up. But uh, next up is Suzy Mac in the Lotus Sport Exige 240R. Exactly the same as our vehicle. Let's go. Please wait. Loading game. It doesn't say the word game there. False advertisement. <laughs> oh, they're in the black Exige. That is very nice. I prefer the yellow one though. It's a very bright colour. Telling me to turn left at a junction that doesn't exist. Turn left. Turn right. Here we go. One mile left. Let's do it. Come on. Finish line, final corner. At the next Break. Turn right. Oh, I kind of panicked and was like, "Oh no, that corner's coming quicker than I expected." <laughs> uh, but we did it just about. Probably could have left it, maybe a millisecond later. Could have been fine. But uh, there we go. We are now exactly halfway. Uh, not halfway. No. What am I on about? Uh, we're exactly 10% of the way through towards a million. Uh, next up is the Noble M12 GTO 3R. Now, we beat this car in a Alfa Romeo. So, if we can't be in this Lotus Sport Exige, well, I don't know anymore. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter. Instagram and Discord, so make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>